Hi. Today we have Mr. Samir Gayakwad with us, who is an engineer by profession with management expertise. He was never ever a sports person until he stumbled upon endurance activities to recuperate from an ankle ligament tear in 2008. He has been an active runner since 2012. building up to various podium finishes in 10 kilometers and half marathon races he is a popular figure in the city's running community and is also one of the founding members of the baroda road runners group he will tell us about the parts of a running shoe and what considerations should be kept in mind while choosing a shoe hi friends uh, this is samir gaikwad and let's now talk about shoes now uh most of uh, us as uh, amateur runners uh, dwell a lot upon shoes you know shoes can cost anything from 2000 rupees to 20000 or more all right so let's talk about shoes and where how do we decide on the shoes there are so many different kind of shoes in the market and typically people would like to know what is good for them but uh, without going into the brands we'll try to see what the different kind of shoes which come and typically uh, a runner how they would decide a shoe for an amateur okay there are typical uh, there are shoes which people prefer having a good nice uh, comfortable soft uh, they should feel very nice and you know uh, roomy inside uh, these are the kind of shoes which many people prefer in the beginning because they find it's very easy and it absorbs the so called shock then there are the other shoes which has a bit of you know hard they aren't very difficult they are pretty Uh, but these are meant for trails you know if you are running not on the road but if you are running out in the forests or in you know, an uneven ground then the trail shoes become easier the, the trademark of trail shoes are that it has got a very stiff uh, sole so that nothing pierces it so these are the thing these are the so- uh, shoes which go for trail uh, again for wet weather or you know again in trails where you have shoes which has a bit of uh, water wicking properties so these are the kind of shoes which are also available in the market there are some uh, other shoes which has which are not very soft or comfortable but they are lighter uh, they aren't very flexible but they are but they are lighter and it's basically ensuring to uh, have that you get a feedback so these are the kind of shoes which you have some are radical shoes these are called the negative toe to heel drop shoes these are very radical these are the sample sizes uh, which i'm having but uh, nobody kind of uses this typically then there is a fashion of going barefoot so this is something which comes in between uh, going barefoot uh, which is just nothing but like a slipper very light uh, you can you can wear this and run and finally there are something which are known as uh, again these are uh, barefoot is nothing but socks with a kind of a, a good rubber sole just to ensure you don't get hurt with the uh, stones or something like that on the road but Uh, and the, even the vibram five fingers are also a part of this so now let's talk about what 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 we should not choose in the shoe uh first and foremost for an amateur remember when you go to buy a shoe you should always go in the evening because when you go in the evening you your your feet are not you know they are full of blood they are a little swollen that's what will happen typically when you go for a run you know your your feet eventually as you start running they'll swell a bit so you should have a fit which is ready for that swell it's not you shouldn't go out uh, right first thing in the morning and go buy a shoe we typically advise you to go and buy it in the evening but when you go and buy try to try to find a shoe for your fit always ensure that you do not have uh, focus too much on the cushioning remember the cushioning uh, doesn't help take the impact properly remember running is a form where you put in a force and you get a reaction force where which will propel you forward so you don't want a shoe to absorb that reaction force which means you know you're putting more force on your foot to propel you ahead so this eventually impacts your joints and your muscles if they aren't developed well so don't go for too much of cushioning in a shoe go for a nice mid level mid feel uh, shoe ensure that it doesn't slide in through the uh, Uh, your feet doesn't slide inside the shoe so that you know don't hurt your toe ensure that you know you, your laces also tie properly they are not too loose it shouldn't come out loose it should be nice and snug and tight so these are the things which are elements which are very important uh, when you go try to find a, a, a shoe for yourself um, secondly remember 
running is not about shoes running is about keeping your feet feet strong so focus on making your feet strong and as you run more ensure that you know you will find that which is the right fit and the right shoe uh, which is important eventually you will realize the lighter the shoe the better it is for you thank you